Welcome to part 7 of my CNC router build. If you haven't seen the other parts of my CNC router build, I'll leave you a playlist below. So, a lot has changed on the router since part 6. I re-engineered the gantry system, most notably the y-axis. I installed a rotating x-axis design which allows me to tune in my z-axis. So, you may be asking why I changed all of these things. So, on the old bearing design, I could only run this router at about 30 inches per minute before it would start to wobble and make some bad noises. This was because the ball bearing was eating away the aluminum tubing, which caused a slight gap which over time made the y-axis weaker and weaker. So this pretty much means I had to run it really slow so it wouldn't wobble. Now I upgraded into this 3D printed ball bearing slider. The slider is the same one I used on the x-axis originally. After installing these on the y-axis, I can easily achieve 70 inches per minute while running this machine with no wobble at all. Another thing I changed is that I used these plastic bushings instead of lock nuts to hold the ball bearings in place. This ended up saving the usage of a lot of lock nuts. Then I just bolted it onto the gantry side panel. And I did the same thing on the x-axis bearing slider. For the x-axis, I installed these 3D printed brackets that hold the x-axis tube in place by a bolt, which allows me to rotate the x-axis tube very slightly so I can make the z-axis 90 degrees with the base of the machine. I also installed this 2x4 for structural support, and I cut a slot in the middle of it which is used to hide the control wiring for the x and z-axis. For the z-axis, instead of using the aluminum holders, I ended up using two 3D printed holders, which made the assembly of the z-axis a lot easier. By 3D printing it, I could effectively figure out and plan where I wanted the z-axis rod placement for the slider bearings and the threaded rod adapter and I printed out two pieces which bolts on to the white MDF. So I've been getting some questions on what I plan to do with this machine. So far I've been mostly making custom signs for family and friends. I've also been making several United States signs. If any of you are interested in buying them, I will have them for sale on Etsy. I have also started an Instagram and Facebook account. If you're interested in seeing what I do behind the scenes, give it a follow. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you have any questions on how I built this, please leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to help anyone out. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.